Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our live. I am Heather and we are here for you today on this lovely Thursday, bringing it to you live. Uh, everything there is to know about airbrush. So guys, this is a great opportunity to jump in and ask us questions about airbrush, about Luminous, about, cause you know, Luminous, is more than just airbrush we have color cosmetics we have we have everything pretty much anything and everything color cosmetics airbrush skincare anything and everything for you guys so we um i love to hear from you so if you're new um if you're just now joining us jump in say hello hey jail gale jail gal that's hard to say. Jail gal. Hey, Angela. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, jump in and say hello. 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 Is it me you're looking for? Um, but we do like to talk about everything Luminous, and that includes the starter kit. We always like to go over the starter kit and bring that to you live. This is one of our starter kits. We have the legend, we have the icon, we have the icon pro, and of course, the breeze, the breeze. Um, you don't see anything on Facebook? Somebody's already on. I'm, I'm reading, uh, we watched Facebook and YouTube, so I'm just making sure. Um, there is somebody on Facebook that just messaged, so check back. Um, but anyway uh we it comes with all of our kits come with everything you need to get started so it comes with two foundations a love and a blush and that's pretty standard sometimes you'll get uh like right now we're offering some free gifts with, when you buy a system and so you'll want to check out what system you want to purchase but we give you the two um bottles of foundation they're similar in color, but they are different colors because we're giving you a range. We're giving you a range of makeup so you can have that perfect shade match. Guys, airbrush makeup is very forgiving, okay? So and I'm, I kind of want to touch on how to color match, and we'll do that in just a minute because I think that's very important, especially if you're new. That's something that I talk about a lot in our group classes because I'm like, hey, it is very forgiving. If I hear the words, oh, it was too orange or it was too blah, 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 that shows me you're just airbrushing improperly. So there, we have to learn how to put on airbrush the correct way before we make that judgment, right? Because we know that there's a little bit of a learning curve when doing airbrush. So when you get your system, what I want you to do, get it out, plug it in, turn it on and hold it four finger widths away. That might seem silly. Heather, I can hold a forefinger finger widths away. But when you turn it on and there's air coming at you, you either do this or you do this because we're used to touching our face, right? So move that stylus around slowly. Good morning, Luminous. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Patty. Hey, Veronica. We just move this around, move this around, move this around, bum, bum, bum. But watch yourself in the mirror, and we're just using the air right now. Just use the air and move that stylus around. It's not a free-for-all, remember. You're not, just keep, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, we actually didn't have lives for the last couple of days, so I apologize, guys. We were not on, but hey, I'm back. I'm here today and tomorrow coming to you love. Um, so yes, I am back. Um, the next thing you want to practice is lightly pulling back on that trigger. That is key because when applying airbrush makeup and everybody who airbrushes can testify that you are pulling back super light. You do not want a lot of makeup to come out all at once. If it does, and that's, and it, you're not the first ones to do it. Um, what happens is, is when people are pulling, when they start putting it on, they're putting it on like traditional makeup, of course, because that's what you know. But just know if you are new to Luminous that this is different 
and it's going to take a little bit of a learning curve. I'm not saying, oh, it's been three months doing this and you'll get it. No, I'm just saying if you practice how I just told you a couple of times, keep doing it, you're going to learn. Okay. This, every time you have this in your hand, you're going to learn. All right. So let's get started. Um, I had to, I had to drive to Austin, which is about two hours and back the same day. So I'm feeling a little depleted. I'll, I drank a lot of water. I was outside, but I drank a lot of water, a lot of water. So I feel I didn't get so depleted, but I feel like my eyes look a little sleepy. So I'm going to start out with our rose water spray. Um, I love this. Love it. So I'm going to use this one. I just flat out love the smell, the smell of it. And what this is going to do that it has Bulgarian rose in it, which is great for the skin. I actually used um, almost a full bottle. <laughs> it was only like that much, but almost, I kind of used a lot of it. Um, I keep one of these in my cart because you can put this over makeup as well. But doing this is very nourishing to your skin before even doing foundation. Okay. Don't spray it in your bangs because then they'll get wet and my bangs will kink up. Um, let's look. Hey, did I say hi, Cindy? Hi, Cindy. Um, so I can let that soak in. Now, before I left for the, left the house today, I did use my tanning tonic as well. So even throughout today, I'm going to be getting a little darker, a little on that tan side. Um, so I have some color in my skin. So the tanning tonic is great to use every so often i if you use it every single day for a week you're gonna be too dark like that that would be too crazy so i'll use it like maybe two or three days in a row but then i'll have to skip a day or two and then i use it again and then skip a day or two and then or three and then use it if you keep up with it um usually i'm really bad at it because i'll use it i'm like oh i look so tan i look so tan and then all of a sudden i'm like where'd my tan go like totally forget to use it so you know, you know how that goes. All right. So we are going to use the peach color corrector. So it's, we're a peach color corrector and Hey, Kari, good morning to ya. Good morning to ya. Eh? Good to see you. Is it Carrie or Kari? I feel like I want to say Kari. I don't know why. I don't, maybe it's Kari. I like it. All right. So I'm shaking up my peach color corrector. I am going to be using the breeze airbrush system. And right in here is where I'm putting my makeup. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. All right. So now I'm putting a few drops right in there, closing my lid to keep it all in turning my system on and I'm going to go on my lids and underneath my eyes lightly spray. The key to this too is move the stylus, move your breeze first and then pull back on the trigger. But guys, when you're airbrushing, you're never in one spot twice, but there's overlap. Okay. So I'm not going to, my hands off the trigger right now, but I'm not going to sit there and go do, 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 that's even though you're moving this, you're still in one place. So as soon as I feel that makeup being released, there's a coolness from the air. But as soon as you let that makeup be released, there's a coolness with the makeup. And you can already tell like life is coming back life. I tell you. All right. That's all I'm going to do on the peach color corrector. Now we have a peach, we have a green, we have, so if you have redness, if you have, um, well, redness, if you have redness, that's going to be for the green color corrector. If you have dark circles, sunspots, that's peach. So this is how I judge which one to use. Cause I do have redness here, but I used the peach color corrector for that as well. And why did I do that? Cause I don't want to have to change 84 times. Guys, airbrush is all about looking amazing in less time. 
okay? This airbrush, doing your makeup is going to cut your makeup time in half. You can ask anybody on here that it did, once they get it down, it will cut your makeup time in half. So I don't wanna spend time, okay, two drops of peach, blah, 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 blah. two drops of green, blah, 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 blah. no, like, let's keep it going. So I can use that peach, and anything we use for pre-coverage or to get that coverage going is, um, I, I call I call it, it's, it's blurring it. So I do call it pre-coverage, but you don't have to cover it 100%. You do not have to cover it 100%. Why? Because I still have the foundation to do. And I'm going to be using Rose 3 and 4 and 1. And the Rose foundation is medium to full full coverage, right? Let me get this. Get this going. Come on, y'all. Ask me some questions. What did everybody, did I talk to y'all? I haven't even, I don't know if I've talked to you this weekend, have I? I don't think I have talked to you this week. What'd y'all do over the weekend? Any big plans? Don't you love a weekend that you can just like not have anything scheduled like do nothing i feel like weekends are ended up being like errand day or like i want to take my daughter to like a petting zoo or something fun you know all right so now i'm putting my drops of my foundation in here and again i'm using the silk four in one and then i'm going to finish my coverage Cindy says, I've got my basic routine down to 10 minutes. Guys, 10 minutes. And I'm blending and I'm blending. Veronica said it took her 30 yesterday, 30 minutes for the first time. Is that first time meaning longer than normal or? Joanne, what about you? How long does it take you to get ready? Carrie Kari, how long did it take you to get ready? Carrie Kari, Carrie Kari. Is anybody showing me any love? Cause I don't see any love. Give me some love up in here. Give me, so this, if you're new to Luminous, our rule is, I love to see love. I love to see thumbs up. I love to see caring. I love to see all of that. If you leave me a sad face or a, angry is it the angry face angry or sad you have to tell me you can but you have to tell me why because chances are thank you nail jail gail chances are that i can make it right hands down like there's a 99.9 percent .9 chance i can make it right for you so you cannot do the drive by hate you cannot do that you have to give me give me some love Angela, I was going to ask you take, uh, uh, what your time was. Full face, 10 to 15 minutes. Long time ago. So I've been doing these lives oh, about six years, seven years. Um, and we timed it one, to, one day where I did my whole entire face did, was with limited talking, if you can imagine that. Um, with limited talking. I know everybody's like, what? That's impossible. And I did everything brows contour eyes um everything lashes i even did lashes and it took me 12 12 to 14 minutes i think it was so and i'm going to powder now sometimes actually most of the time i do like to powder first and so um it it gives a real polished look it does change the look a little bit um, so if you feel like, Hey, I want to step it up, or maybe you're just, you get oily during the day, maybe in your T zone, try powdering first and it can really make a difference. All right. Now we're going to use our click and play eyeshadows. And guys, if you haven't checked out the self, I put the link in our, the bio or in the description, a great, I mean, we have the whole kit on sale now for $1.99. If you want all of them, that's the best way to get them right now because they are on sale um, but we do have um a way we do quads we pick out quads for you because a lot of times people go i don't know which ones to get 
buy a set that we've picked out for you. Buy the quad, buy the um, the trios. There's trios also. So that way you don't have to think about it. And then you can buy different sets and start getting your collection together. All right, so I am going to do, I'm like laying them all out so I can see them all. <laughs> okay, we're going to have some fun today because I'm wearing, even though I have a black shirt on, I'm wearing blue and black pants. Who am I kidding? They're yoga pants. Um, so I'm going to get this brush and this brush and this brush. I think that's it. All right, so now I'm going in with Peachy, which is a lot to color. And I'm, I'm almost, since I do put foundation on my lids, I kind of use that as my base for a, the eyeshadow. So I can go in with a little bit darker or a lot darker and use the foundation as my, um, as my lighter color. But I'm just going to put this all here. You know what I am going to do though? So I don't mess up the, I already have my concealer or my peach color corrector and I already have um the um foundation on where's my oh here it is I am going to do a powder guard and all this is is lightly putting powder there so it <clears throat> when it falls it I can I'm gonna sweep it off and you won't even be able to tell hello Pam good morning good morning Yay, I'm seeing some more love. I'm seeing some more love. I wish they had a, okay. Like, I don't know if I'm feeling love, but I'll give you an okay. <laughs> I'll give you a, I'm awake. All right, so I'm going to go in and kind of just blend this and blend it. Remember blending. Look, guys, I'm barely, I'm not going, I'm barely touching, just sweeping back and forth. Because our stuff is so high pigmented, you don't have to really work hard to blend this in. Hello, Muzi, how are you? Hey, uh, hey, Judy. Oh, fabulous, Hava. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good to be back with you guys. All right, so I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, for the fun. For the fun. I'm going in, and I'm using Indigo. In with your little pinky up, indigo. I'm gonna do my indigo right here. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, I just did that with my finger. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, Lee, how are you? I love, look at this blue guy. Now, obviously, it's not on correctly, but look at that blue in the gorge. All right. Well, Muzi, I'm glad you you joined us at least for a second. And now I'm going to blend that blue in. So I'm just making sure I want to keep the intensity, but see where this like a edge and a edge. I'm just going to blend those edges so they're not so harsh. See how they it's already starting to look better, right? Yes, Heather, it is. Get a little softer here. Bling, 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 bling. And we're blending, and we're blending. Okay. Ooh, hello. I'm digging this chili. All right. So now I'm going to go in, where's my cave? And I'm going to do a little something in the crease. No, that's not cave. Where's my cave? There's a big glare and I can't see. Is that cave? Yeah. So this is cave, which is right here. I actually could use cave or even a, the, the black, uh, which is blackout. So really whatever, how intense you want it. So we have this blackout too. And so I can go in with a little bit of cave and I'm doing cave because it's close to that peachy, like same family. 
and I'm going to do this in my crease. So remember, the first spot you hit with the brush is where most of the makeup goes. Right there. And then I'm using a Kleenex. We didn't name Luminous today. How come? Oh my. I feel like that one needs a little work right there. And don't don't worry about using your hands. Like you can do you can do it. You can even like I feel like I need to blend that or it's not blend. It's out of line. It's out of line. So I'm just taking a clean, almost like a foundation um concealer brush and just tweaking that line a little bit. All right, then, ooh, hit some fun, hit some fun. Taking my flat eyeshadow brush, bam, with the indigo. Hello, Kathy, how are you? And lining the bottom. And I kind of like it thick. I like to line with eyeshadow colors, especially on the bottom. Even if we had like a pencil that I lined with, um, I still would smudge that out. I like wearing eyeshadow on the bottom because you it's softer. Notice I didn't have, I mean, I just took the flat, put it right here, and then boop, 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 and you're not pulling on the edges of your, um, uh, you know, pulling on, on your eyes. This is where we need to be the, the softest, the gentlest, is that a word? <laughs> gentlest, um, and just, you know, like, hey, Connie, um, and be very, very light, okay? So now I'm going to take a brush and swipe. Swipe it away. There we go. Oh, Musette, you're wearing these colors today. Awesome sauce. Twinsies. All right, so now let me get you using my cut one and a brush. I'm going to go back and forth and do a light contouring. Guys, I know some of you are afraid of contouring, but I'm telling you, this is one of the top things I do just because if you know, like, I, um, foundation is to even you out. It's to make you flat, like even out your skin tone, even out the colors, all of that. It makes you flat. And so by contouring, by adding blush, by doing other things, that's bringing our face back to life basically so it's it's bringing back the shape bye baby i'll see ya it's bringing back that shape i'm gonna add a little bit of and i've kind of started to go higher with my blush um because i feel like it lifts me up lifts me up i did it before because you couldn't see the blush if I wore makeup and then wore a mask. You couldn't see the blush. But I feel like, you know, when a long time ago, they told us to smile and then put the blush. What happens when you stop smiling? It's down here. That's not going to help us. So I kind of smirk when applying it. That way it kind of balances out, but it's on the top side of my apple of my cheek. Make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. All right. Now, let's do mascara. Mascara, mascara, mascara. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So now, curl. Nail gel gals using Nude and Naughty. If you don't have Nude and Naughty, you're missing out because there's 36 eyeshadow colors in our nude and naughty. So that should be a staple for everybody. Click that link below and purchase. 
So I'm using Distraction Mascara. And I love this brush because I'm able to get like in, inside the, like right inside without hitting my nose with the makeup, the mascara brush. Ugh, mascara makes a world of difference. Wild on her. Out there. Linda. Oh, you're so sweet. Now, if you were between. 48 and 55 and a male, we'd be, <laughs> we'd be awesome. <laughs> All right. Yesterday I talked to this high end, um, matchmaker, like she match makes C, uh, CEOs and stuff. I wasn't using her, but I was just talking to you as a friend. I was talking to her and oh girl, the stories I heard. That could be a live topic all of its own. I mean, look, guys, look what a difference. I mean, is our mascara not the bomb.com? I'm using the tip, the pointy part as, a, I guess I shouldn't say pointy on mascara, but the the thinner end to separate uh, the lashes. I can get, get them on, um, and I am set. Now, I'm going to be using, I think I'm going to use Pouting Peony. I am pouting peony in our liquid lipsticks. These aren't the vinyls. This is just the liquid lipsticks, which is a great neutral. Right there. I feel like there's a hair on it. Uh-huh. There's a hair. I'm gonna have to work on that. But the one thing about the liquid lipsticks are that they're, they're, they're matte. They're not going to have that shine like the vinyls do. So if I liked this color and wanted to wear this color, I can always wear lip jelly. Veronica, you are so very sweet, girl. Put the lip jelly on, gives me the shine, plumps my lips, um, moisturizes my lips, keeps them from chapping, and I'm set. I'm set. There you go. Cindy said, those colors and mascara really open up your eyes. I know. I look alive now. Before, I was like, oh, maybe I need to go back to bed. Like my daughter said, Mom, do you need to sleep 100 years? I'm like, yes, I do. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, adding a little, y'all, little steps. I'm big on this. Little steps can change your life, can change the way you feel. You, look, I am not saying by any means that you have to put makeup on every single day to, to be pretty and to look good. Not by any stretch, stretch of the imagination. I'm saying that we can do baby steps, change it up once in a while, do a crazy eye, a fun eye, do a sassy lip, a red, a bright, just little changes to, it gives us confidence. It, it jazzes it up. It changes it up. And it is fun. Makeup is fun. It's amazing and fun what you can do with it. And I'm, and guys, we can do, we already know, we can do this in 10 minutes, in 15 minutes. It does not have to take all the live long day, okay? So you can do it. You can do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back tomorrow. So I hope to see everybody on tomorrow. I want to hear about your fun weekend plans. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.